it's always amazing when any institution of any type is celebrating a sesquicentennial. With humble beginnings dating back to October 18th, 1870, Rockdale County is rich in history. It was just after the Civil War and everyone was trying to figure out where do we go from here? You had a newly configured nation. You had a defeated Confederacy and you had emancipated, finally, Black people. The construction of the railroad was instrumental to the incorporation of Conyers in 1854, which eventually led to the creation of Georgia's 133rd county, covering 128 square miles. It received its name from the Rockdale Baptist Church. During the height of textile manufacturing, Rockdale County was a prosperous place with several mill towns. Frank D. Milstead and several others had gotten together and started the mill. As uh, time went on, the Callaways from LaGrange and the Callaway Garden people, they came in and they took over and were buying uh, more spools and things. The mill brought a lot of people into uh, that area. Uh, I believe it was just by 1915, people started building their houses there. Judy Bond has fond memories of the Millstead steam locomotive, known as the Dinky. It operated along three miles of the Millstead Railroad from the textile mill to the main line in Conyers. You could hear the whistle at lunchtime, and when the dinky left, you could also see the smoke rolling. The Rockdale County Historical Society purchased the dinky in 1983, returning the beloved engine to its final stop in Conyers, where it remains today. The construction of I-20 in the 1960s enabled the county to grow and thrive once the mills stopped production. Wales Flint Barksdale has lived in Rockdale County all of his life. My kids were actually the fifth generation to live on Main Street through my paternal grandmother's side. My kids went to the same schools I did. Uh, my oldest daughter started school in the same room I did at Pine Street, Old Pine Street. We've had the best of a lot of things. We were a small, a uh, contained community, yet we could be in Atlanta anytime we wanted to. Barksdale also remembers what was then called the Freedom of Choice School Integration Plan. Freedom of Choice started either my, I guess my ninth, my freshman year of high school, and that was when the first students came over. It was different, there was some tension, uh, but it worked out. You know, everybody kind of took care of each other around here and there was a lot of communication that went on. I jokingly say it meant that, that black kids were free to choose to go to a white school, but not many, if any, white kids made that other trip. In any case, I went to Rockdale High along with a number of other black kids in uh, the fall of 1968. And that was really the real beginning of the end of the segregated school system then. So I was a part of all of that. And that was when black people and white people began to have different kinds of relationships because within the school system, kids were becoming friends. And those some of those friendships endured. And indeed, many of my friendships still exist. Historically, I am the first African-American female county commissioner for Rockdale County. I am my ancestors' greatest dream. I'm the dream come true because I have done all the things that they would want for one of their legacies to achieve. I think one of the most fascinating things about Rockdale County is that it has over 300 churches. That just creates a whole lot of diversity and some uh, and a level of unity of people who are um, interested in the community, who are interested in their spiritual lives, who portray that um, in the, their everyday lives. One of the most well-known places in Rockdale County is the Monastery of the Holy Spirit that sits on more than 2,000 acres of peace and tranquility. 
I remember taking the children down to the monastery and walking the grounds, just this wonderful sense of calm and beauty in the midst of, um, you know, some hustle and bustle of life. The Walk of Heroes Veterans War Memorial Park is located on three acres at Black Shoals Lake in Rockdale County. It aims to foster a common understanding of the sacrifices and uncommon dedication of veterans and their families. When, you, when you're there, you don't just pay homage to the veterans of Rockdale County. You see every other person's family there also, and you understand. One of the biggest things that we did was to take down the Confederate monument. It was done in a way that uh, did not disrespect those for whom the statute means something, but it acknowledged that we are in a different age and that statute is, is offensive to a big portion of the county. So Rockdale did well with that one. This is one of the most caring communities anywhere in the country. And when I think about Rockdale County, I think about the three R's, being real, being raw and being relevant. And that's Rockdale. We're real people, we're raw, down-to-earth, everyday people, and we're relevant. In 2018, County Commission Chairman Oz Nesbitt wanted Rockdale citizens to feel that sense of pride in a flag that flies proudly today. We came up with the fact that the stars on the flag represents the pioneers of this community, the people who laid the foundation for Rockdale County. The gold color on the flag represents all of the golden opportunities and wonderful possibilities this community has. And then when you think about the blue, the blue is just what I started talking about, the sense of pride and the unity inside of this community. And the burgundy, oh my goodness, the burgundy is all about the rich history and heritage of Rockdale County. We're not perfect, but we're certainly striving to be the best county. And I say it all the time, there's only two kind of people, those that live in Rockdale and those that wish they lived in Rockdale County.